Mm -hmm. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Forever I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Forever I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Say with my mouth.
now be man oh Jesus you now be man oh now you be God now you be God Almighty knowledge and your will for me what you said you have done I just need to align no because you are not a man that changes your mind oh those that know you will trust in you not in horses and chariots but I am of flesh no man can prevail no man no man, no man. My confidence is you. What is hard? What is hard for you? It can never exist. Oh, you do not lie. You do not change. What is hard for you to do? It doesn't exist. Oh, it can never ever exist. Oh. change what is hard for you to do to do it can never ever exist oh capable god capable god So, Father, we worship you. All power belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you. We bow before you and we say there is none like you. 
none can be likened unto you. Rain, Lord, rain. Thank you, Father, for your presence. And we plead the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel, even this evening, for the manifestation of your power, for the manifestation of your grace, the manifestation of your mercy. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because you are here already. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. So wherever you are, just shout a mighty hallelujah. Our God is more than enough. He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all we could ever ask or think, even by his power that works in us, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We want to appreciate the pastorate for the awesome opportunity to minister to God's people on the global platform. We glorify God on your behalf and we express our deep appreciation. We say God bless you. We're talking about endorsement and our text, rather long, is from the book of Mark chapter 10. Mark chapter 10 from verse 46. And they came to Jericho. And as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, a great number of people, and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the wide wayside begging. And when he heard it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried the more, a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded that he be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise, he called thee. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and follow Jesus in the way. Your need, your prayer, your earnest desire will be endorsed even this evening in the name of Jesus. Real quickly, long-standing curses can be reversed. Bartimaeus was in a city that was cursed by Joshua. But Bartimaeus, being in the right place where God has asked him to be, Jesus passed through his position. I declare concerning you today that Jesus will pass your location in the name of Jesus. Somehow just turn that to prayer within your heart. Jesus, pass my location. You know my coordinates, where I am at this moment. Father, pass by me in the name of Jesus. As we read further, Jesus was not moving alone. The same way we see every day, it is written in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, I believe from verse 27. It talks about, don't you know that we all run in a race? That in a race we all run. And only one person obtains a prize. Some know that they will not win the race. But they will just join the bandwagon. But I pray that you be singled out for endorsement. So what would an endorsement mean? An endorsement means a public acceptance or, yes, an acceptance of some position, request or 
or, 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 or thing. Once it is endorsed, there's a public acceptance. But we are not just talking about a public acceptance. We're talking about a spiritual acceptance. Now, there was a crowd with Bartimaeus. As Bartimaeus was crying, the crowd was telling Bartimaeus, be quiet. Every opposition to your voice that is lifted this evening, the Lord God Almighty will ignore in the name of Jesus. It is written, it says that a great and effectual door is open, but the adversaries are many. That door, that key that God has given you into that blessed destiny that God has given you, regardless of the amount of adversaries, you will enter. In the name of Jesus, regardless of the walls that surround, Jericho's walls fell. Those walls that have prevented the blessings of God from reaching your life, this evening, in the name of Jesus, they will be leveled. If you believe thou shout a mighty hallelujah. Amen. Bartimaeus was silenced by people, not just people, people who could have been the ones that would have encouraged him were the ones that silenced him. It is written that a man's enemy a day of his own household. They were people of faith. They were the ones talking to Bartimaeus, keep quiet, keep quiet, keep quiet. However, Jesus ignored the voices of the opposition. Every voice of opposition against your prayers, against your desires, against that which you are trusting God for, God will ignore it in the name of Jesus. Like somebody applying for a particular contract, you send in your proposal. Just with your proposal, there are so many other proposals. You go from technical to commercial. When you get to commercial, there are still so many other contenders. I pray that the favor of God, the mercy of God will rest upon your proposal tonight. In the name of Jesus. The mercy of God will rest upon your proposal. In the name of Jesus. Apart from being strategically located, it is written that Bartimaeus was at the gate of the city. In scriptures, in the book of Genesis chapter 19 verse 1, the gate of the city represents power. That is where angels meet with men. It is also written in the book of Psalm 127. It said, blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. He will stand at the gates. The gate is a place where the elders gather. The, place is a, the gate is a place where people of authority, when they want to pass a decree, that is where they go to. Bartimaeus was strategically located. I pray for you that in that day of your visitation, God will strategically position you, even from right now, in the name of Jesus. Where people of authority, where people that carry, carry grace, where the people that God has destined to help you are passing, God will locate you there. In the name of Jesus Christ. But he does not stop there. He called Jesus by his attributes. He said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. It is written indeed, in the book of Romans chapter 9, for verse 15 to 16, he says, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. He says, it is not of he that willeth, nor of he that runneth, but of God that shows mercy. Today, you will receive mercy. Right where you are, whether on you are on the road, whether you are in traffic, or whether in your house, in front of your TV screen, you will receive mercy in the name of Jesus. It is written concerning Bartimaeus that he was blind from his birth. He was blind from his birth. That means he didn't, he even mentioned his father's name, the son of Timaeus. He was blind from his birth. However, blindness stopped with him. I pray regardless of whatever may be running in your genealogy, today by the mercy and the intervention of the Most High God, it is totally truncated with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The same way Bartimaeus obtained mercy, not because of his benevolence, but just because Jesus Christ is a God who is compassionate. He received mercy from the Most High. You will receive mercy in the name of Jesus. Now, where did the endorsement come in? Bartimaeus was being shouted down by others. Bartimaeus was being shouted down by the disciples. Yet, when they told him to stop, he lifted his voice even louder. As he lifted his voice even louder, 
Jesus took notice of him. Wherever you are, you may just want to stand up this evening and begin to talk to God that Jesus should take notice of you. Lift up your voice to God. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, here I am. Here I am. Take notice of me. Take notice of me. Take notice of me. Oh, Father, ignore every opposing comment of the enemy. Every opposing comment of even those that are supposed to be close to us. Ignore them. Oh, and, and look out to me, Lord. Remember me, Lord. Take notice of me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. It didn't take long. Jesus stood still. And that is the endorsement. His cry was endorsed. And that endorsement became the time that heaven paid him attention. It is written concerning Rachel. It says, and God remembered Rachel. Now that remembrance means the day that heavens take action concerning your matter. I pray in the name of Jesus that the heaven will take action action concerning your matter. The activation of the solution to that challenge. Receive it today in the name of Jesus. The heavens begin to work for you in the name of Jesus. And even when the endorsement came, the opposing voices, the opposing voices became the commending voices. Power will change in your favor. Power will change in your favor. Power will change in your favor. It is written. He said that when a man's way pleases the Lord, he will make even his enemies to be at peace with him. This will turn around. Those that are fighting against you, they will begin to bow before you. They will begin to bow before you. And then when God turned to him, what do you want? God is asking you, what do you need to be endorsed? God is speaking to you, what do you need answered ASAP? Because if you study the scripture, the Bible says that he was made whole. Immediately, he received his sight. Jesus said, your faith has made thee whole. And immediately, the Bible says that he received his sight. In the next few minutes that we have, just stand up and lift up your voice to God. And present that need that you are trusting God for. Present it to him. Present that, that need, that deep need that you have, that you want God to solve. Present it to him. Present it to him. Because immediately, if you ask in faith, not wavering, God who is able to do all things, we answer you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. Heaven will stamp and dust on your request. Heaven will stand and dust on your request. Without a check that is endorsed, you cannot cash. Heaven will stamp and dust on your request. In the name of Jesus. Like Bartimaeus, I declare that you will not leave this, 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 this program the same way you came. Bartimaeus had already taken off the garment of the blind. Every garment that they've used to identify you in the past by reason of heaven's identification, by reason of heaven's endorsement, those garments of shame, those cloaks that has covered your glory, those cloaks that they have used to identify you, whether it be sickness, whether it be disease, whether it be shame, whether it be deprivation, they are taking off your body. They are taking off your soul. They are taking off your spirit. Every burden that you are carrying, Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27, it is written that the burden shall be lifted off your shoulder. The yoke shall be broken because of your anointing. That yoke is broken. That burden is lifted in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you. Because you are able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ever ask or think. As we have presented our needs before you, answer by fire. In Jesus' most precious name we have prayed. Brethren, you may have your physical needs solved. You may have your physical needs met. You may have that contract. But without Jesus we are nothing. So I want to give this opportunity to as many that are available. You want to surrender your life to Jesus Christ? Just lift up your hands where you are. Because Jesus is the way, is the truth and is the life. If your desire is eternal life, Jesus is calling you. If you want to reign with him, John chapter 14 verse 6, it says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father except by me. You may be here, but in whose name are you praying? Does Jesus recognize you? Even though he's your creator, are you his friend? Are you his son? Are you his body? So lift up your hands wherever you are. 
And just take this simple prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I have come to you, the author and the finisher of my faith. Please, Father, forgive all my sins. Make me whole again. I have come just as I am. Cleanse me. I accept you as the Lord and Savior of my life. From today, I pledge to walk with you. I pledge to do all that you have asked me to do, to obey you 100%. And Father, be my Lord, be my Savior. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Now, one more time, we are going to end this session by you giving God quality thanks. Say, Father, I thank you because you hear me always. Thank you because you hear me always. Glory and honor be unto you, the God that answered prayers. Thank you for endorsing my request. Thank you for having heaven to answer. Thank you for activating the solution to that problem. Glory and honor we give unto you. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Somebody shout a believing hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's close our eyes and pray for our pastor. Father, in the name of Jesus, that we bless you. We thank you for your word that we have listened to this evening. That we pray, oh Lord, that the entrance of your word will manifest greater things in our lives in the name of Jesus. That we commit the vessel that you, Lord, have used to bless us into your hands, oh Lord. We pray, oh Lord, that you, Lord, will bless him back in the name of Jesus. You take charge of everything that concerns him and endorse everything in the name of Jesus. The seal of approval is upon him, is upon his family, is upon his work, is upon his business in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Church. Hallelujah. It's time for offering. Offering time, blessing time. Okay? So the account numbers have been displayed on the screen. I want us to package our offering, bountiful package, bountiful offering onto the Lord as I read out the account number. Okay? So Zenith Bank, account number 101704632. Three two zero. I take that again. Zenith Bank, one zero one seven zero four six three two zero. Father, in the name of Jesus, that we thank you for this token we have brought to you, O Lord. Please accept them in the name of Jesus. Let it be like the offering of Abel that you, O Lord, accepted in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, to every pocket that this offering has come out from, we pray, O Lord, that you, O Lord, will multiply the seeds in the remaining in their process in the mighty name of Jesus. And we decree in the name of Jesus for everyone looking unto you, O Lord, to... To, to, to give offering, O oh Lord, or for one our desires or the other, that you, O oh Lord, will bless them tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. This offering will speak bountifulness into their lives. Greater testimonies shall abound in their lives in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Covenant voices. <laughs>
the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is indeed awesome. Shall we begin to appreciate the name of the Lord? Let's bless his holy name. Let's thank him for who he is. Let us thank God for his many blessings that he has bestowed upon us. He's a merciful God. He's awesome. He's a great God. Psalm 34 verse 1 to 2 say, I will exalt the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. Verse 2, I will glory in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Appreciate him. Despite all, the Lord has been so good to us. The Lord has kept us. The Lord has kept our children. The Lord has kept our loved ones. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. We are still going to thank God and say, Father, thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your unfailing love. Thank you, Father. Despite our unfaithfulness, the Lord has been so faithful. He has been so faithful. Let's exalt his holy name. Father, we thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we've given thanks. We are going to ask for mercy this hour. Let's pray and say, Father, in every aspect, I've come short of your glory. Father, please have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Daddy, have mercy. Wash me, Lord, that I am my be white as snow. Cleanse all my unrighteousness. Every sin of omission and commission. Either the sin we have committed by disobeying you. Father, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Pray and say, Father, every form of sin that may hinder my prayer from being answered tonight. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Daddy, have mercy. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We are going to pray for ourselves and say, Father, Father, please help us, O oh God, to walk in your steps continually. Let your Holy Spirit guide us in the name of Jesus. Father, let him lead us where you want us to witness in the name of Jesus and actively participate in harvest of souls in the name of Jesus. Father, help me, Lord. Help us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, help us. Help us, Lord, that the Spirit of God will lead us where you want us, oh God, to win more souls for you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We know as Christians that one of our core responsibility is to win soul for the kingdom of God. For the Bible says, the heaven rejoice for a single soul that repented. We are going to pray and say, Father, please give us the grace, Lord, to obey and deliver on every instruction that you, in the name of Jesus. Father, give us the grace, Lord, to obey and to deliver in the name of Jesus, to obey and deliver on every instruction that you give us, even as we go to witness in the name of Jesus. Father, please give us grace to obey in the name of Jesus. Help us that everywhere we find ourselves, Lord, we will win souls for you. We will have that test, oh God, to win souls for you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We are going to pray personally for ourselves as we have heard tonight, endorsement. And what is other name, other words for endorsement? Means approval. We are going to pray. I don't know if you are here tonight. You are connected. You are believing God for one thing. You have submitted your 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 proposals. You are just waiting for that approval. Why not pray and say, Father, prove yourself as God in the name of Jesus. Concerning every project, concerning every proposal, you have been waiting for that offer letter. Why not pray that there will be divine endorsement in the name of Jesus. That the Lord will speak for you even where you cannot speak in the name of Jesus. Let's pray that the grace of God will speak for you. The mercy of God will speak for you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We are going to pray this hour and ask for divine connection. I don't know that help you have been looking for. The psalmist says, I will look unto the hill. From whence comes my help? My help coming from the Lord. The Lord that made heaven and the earth. You are going to pray and say, Father, 
please make me visible for my helpers in the name of Jesus. Daddy, make me visible for my helpers in the name of Jesus. Everywhere I go, Lord, let my helpers see me. Let them locate me. Make me visible for them. Make me visible for them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Every evil garment covering me, Lord, let them catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every evil garment that has been covering me from my helpers, Daddy, let them catch fire. Let them catch fire. Let them catch fire. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Right now, we are going to pray for our pregnant women. We are going to pray for safe delivery, that the Lord will strengthen them. The Lord will keep them. As many of them that are having one complication or the other, that the Lord will take absolute control in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Let's pray that the Lord will strengthen them. The Lord will keep the baby. The Lord will keep the mother in the name of Jesus. Let's pray that they shall all deliver as the Hebrew women in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Right now we are going to pray for the church. Let's pray and say, Father, we declare that by the power of the Holy Spirit, the gospel of Jesus coming from life gate, we continue to win the hearts of men, transform lives and impact communities. In the name of Jesus, let's pray for the church of God that it shall continue. Every word that is coming out of it, in the name of Jesus, shall impact life in our communities. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray that as many that will be coming here, Lord, hearing your word, Lord, their life shall be transformed for good. They shall not remain the same. In the name of Jesus, let's pray and say, Father, please let life gate enjoy a stronger voice and greater influence globally. In the name of Jesus, Father, we declare that your church shall continue to march forward and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. In the name of Jesus, Father God Almighty, help your church. Help your church, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Right now, we are going to pray for Nigeria and the body of Christ. Praise the Lord. We all know that when it is well with the tree, it is well with the bed. We know what is going on. Kidnapping everywhere. Killing everywhere. Un unemployment, but we believe that with God, all things shall be possible and Nigeria will be well again. Let's pray for the peace of Nigeria. Let's pray that there will be stability in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Let's pray that the peace of God will take over Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Father, let there be peace. Let there be stability in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare that your peace will take over Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Father, help us. Help our leaders in the name of Jesus. Every wicked personality troubling this country. Father, we pray that you will arrest them. Arrest them, Lord. Father, arrest them. Let there be peace again. Let there be peace again. Let there be peace again. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We all know that there are so many people that don't even want the peace to reign, that don't want peace to reign in Nigeria. So many people are making a lot of trillions due to the trouble happening in Nigeria. There are so many gathering, there are so many, you know, we are going to pray that wherever they are gathering, wherever they are planning, that the God Almighty will scatter them in the name of Jesus. Let's pray against every evil gathering, against the peace of Nigeria, that the Lord will scatter them. Let's pray that the Lord will scatter them, that the Lord will expose them in the name of Jesus. Let's pray everyone on any position that needs to leave, that the Lord will unseat them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We are going to pray for the body of Christ. Let's pray that the body of Christ will continually be strengthened by God. In the name of Jesus, we pray, O oh God Almighty, that your body will continue to be strengthened. The church of God shall continue to work stronger all over the world. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray for the body of Christ, that Lord, it shall continually be strengthened by you. We declare that the church of God will continue to work stronger and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Right now, we are going to pray for our, all our youths that the Lord will see them through. 
the Lord will strengthen them. The Lord will show them favor in the name of Jesus. Let's pray that the Lord will help them in the name of Jesus. As many of them that are believing God for a job, let's pray that God Almighty will favor them in the name of Jesus. We, let's pray for divine favor for them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. As we all know that an idle mind is the devil's workshop. When our youths are idle, when they don't have job, there will be trouble in the land. Let's pray that the, that the Lord will see them through. That the peace of God will reign in their hearts. And that the Lord will draw them closer to him in the name of Jesus. Let's pray for them that they will not be negatively influenced in the name of Jesus. That the Lord will show them favor. The Lord will show them mercy. The Lord will open doors for them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I don't know what you're believing God for this evening, this night. I don't know that miracle you're trusting God for. I don't know that area of your life that you need God's endorsement, that you need God's approval. Why not just talk to the Lord tonight that the Lord will meet you at the very point of your need. Every proposal you have submitted that they will re receive divine approval in the name of Jesus. I don't know where you have submitted your CV and all you have been receiving is the le le decline letter. Why not pray that the every decline letter will be turned to offer letter in the name of Jesus. That the Lord will show you mercy. That the Lord will speak for you where you have no voice in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we have prayed. Our most high God in heaven will thank you. We bless your name because you are God, you are still God, and you will continue to be God. Father, we appreciate you for tonight. Thank you, Daddy, because we know you have answered all our prayers. We pray, Almighty God, that you continue to keep us, you continue to strengthen us, continue to keep your church, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Even as our children have resumed, Father, we pray that your presence will be with them. Father, we pray that we will not cast our young in the name of Jesus. In their respective classes, there will be stars in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, that you give to them excellent spirit that they need to excel in the name of Jesus. We pray, Father, that every evil eye that look at them, we go blind in the name of Jesus. Every gathering against them, every evil spoken words against them is canceled by fire in the name of Jesus. We pray for everyone believing you for one miracle or the other tonight lord we pray you will answer them answer us lord prove yourself as god once again thank you almighty father in jesus name we have prayed somebody shout a big hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah
the Alpha Omega.
I trust you've had a wonderful time in God's presence. And I believe that God has indeed endorsed your request. And not just endorsing your request, endorsed you as a child, having surrendered your life to him. And also reaffirming that he's the Lord of your life. And I pray that the blessings that you have received this evening will be permanent in the name of Jesus. In closing, can we just rise and lift up a song to God and say, Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. There is none like you. Father, as our needs are many, so is your capacity to handle them all. So we bring ourselves before you and we ask that you endorse our lives, endorse our destinies, endorse our plans, endorse even Nigeria in the path that you have ordered it to the glory of your holy name. In the name of Jesus. And we declare that the grace of God will fill our lives, that his glory will surround us, that his peace that passeth all understanding shall be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for an enjoyable time in your presence. Be glorified. In Jesus' name we have prayed. So let's share the grace in fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Now let's shout a resounding hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. What you do? What you do? Nothing impossible with our God. Because you are